I do feel bad for her because it's an 84-year-old woman who got gored by a bison in Yellowstone. You know, even how many times, if you just listen to this show, tourists. Right. And I know we get, in fact, let's put up the map. Here's where people are listening to and downloading the IFAF podcast. Mm -hmm. That, all the way across the country. Yeah. With a concentration heavily on the West. But if they would just, if they'd listen to this show. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. I just want to know what was she doing? I don't know. Oh, is that a little victim blamey? It sounds a little victim blamey. What was she wearing? (laughs) Right. But I'll, okay, here's the thing. I want to know if I should blame the victim or not. Right. And (laughs) I don't know know the circumstances and I don't even know her condition. I hope she's okay. I do too. Especially at that age. Yeah. It's just a lot easier to feel not guilty if you know she was doing something dumb and you make fun of her. Like, if she was just, like, back turned, didn't even know it was there, and was, like, I don't know, looking at pictures of her grandkids, and then it came up and attacked her, then you feel like a jerk for making fun of her, you know? Right. Was it provoked or unprovoked? Right, right. So here's some tips from the National Park Service. I'm always tired of saying these. (laughs) Okay, so bison season... When you're most likely to get gored is when the park is open, mid-July to mid-August. Who'd have um, thunk? Can humans outrun a bison? No. Not a chance. They run at 35 miles an hour. Jeez Louise. How big are bison? 2,000 pounds. Damn big. <laughs> is it ever safe to approach a bison? No. no. <laughs> Especially not if they have a baby. Under what circumstances should humans intervene with wildlife at Yellowstone? Never. None. Okay, I'm glad you got that one right because Mm -hmm. you're talking about nature documentaries and how sometimes it's sad. Well, I think they're okay to see an animal eat another animal. And I think there are differences. Like, you know, if you see a baby bird fall out of a nest, like realistically, you can totally put it back. Mama bird will take it, they won't care, you know, better than a dead baby bird. But yeah, I'm not saying put yourself between the cheetah and the gazelle. Right. You know? <laughs> right. Or the or- orca and the seals. Have right. you seen what the orcas do to a seal that's sort of on an isolated chunk of ice? Oh, I know. They'll all swim mm-hmm. together underneath it and create this wave that tips the ice. The seal oh. slides off. Like an oyster. Yeah. Right right down your gullet. <laughs> I love seals. Nom, 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 nom. Um. What to do if you encounter a bison? Remain calm. Don't walk toward them. Instead, back up. Don't stare them in the eyes. If you happen upon them on a trail, do the same thing. Don't make a big deal of it. They're not bears. You don't need to be yelling. They know you're here. Yeah. Safest distance to observe a bison, 25 yards. That's 75 feet for us Americans. Mm -hmm. And I just want to point out, a domestic cow can easily kill you. They choose not to because we've domesticated them. But really, if you had one that just had a bad attitude, absolutely, Betsy could take you out in a second flat. So you think her wild cousin couldn't? (laughs) Yeah. Incorrect, sir. That gives me an idea. Let's go bison tipping. Let's not. (laughs) Okay, let's go bison tipping, wherein we go to tourists and tip them off to not touch the bison. Get away! (laughs) Right? Run for your lives! You know, one thing that I think would be really fascinating is if they categorize the people who get attacked by bison by native and non-native to the area. Gotcha. Because I kind of want to see those stats. I'm almost positive most of them are outside of the Pacific Northwest and Rocky Mountain region. You'd think. Don't you think? But also, there are some people who get a little too comfortable here. You know, yeah. like they really think that they're, they're like, oh, well, you know, I've been here my whole life. I can take it on. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and it's like, honey, you are not Steve Irwin. You do not know what you're doing. 